the longest of seasons, the shortest of off seasons. The Portland Timbers last match was just five weeks ago at home in the MLS Cup final. And now PTFC is back on the pitch working towards the 2022 season. Fox 12's Nick Krupke takes a look at PTFC's return to the training grounds in Beaverton without some of their key players. Did you miss them? They're back. Sure, but uh, happy to be back. Season 12 for the Green and Gold in MLS. The fifth year at the helm of PTFC for Gio Savarese. We're happy to be back. Uh, there's a lot of good energy. Everybody really came back uh, ready to be able to, to train. Many of the faces are familiar, but mine is the biggest name for the past decade. Diego Valeri was not on the field for the start of camp. That is because the club's all-time leader in goals and assists is reportedly on his way back to play for his home club in Argentina. El Maestro, pending transfer back to his childhood side of Lanús. It's not easy for anybody uh, mm -hmm. to see Diego go because he's been so important for the Portland Timbers. Uh, not only for the Portland Timbers, I said it many times. I mean, he has been a very important component of the growth of Major League Soccer. And uh, non having him around uh, is uh, strange. Forever he will be remembered as, as a legend for, for this club. Meanwhile, Sebastian Blanco was also a no-show as Chucky remains without a contract as negotiations are ongoing with one of the three designated players who came off, of course, that devastating knee injury a season prior. Coach Sabarese is of a positive mind that a deal can still be reached. We're doing everything that we can to try to, to bring him back. Uh, he's an important component of our team. Um, and we're doing everything that we can to make sure that he's uh, again part of uh, our club. Captain Diego Chara and his smile are back, earning a contract extension through 2024 as DC continues to be the longest tenured timber at the age of nearly 36. I grew up uh, with the team, you know, I'm being here from the beginning. Happy to have the opportunity to be here again and uh, try to work hard this year to to make the, the playoff again. The Timbers are also learning about life after Steve Clark as their starting key for the previous three seasons signed a free agent deal in Houston. With Jeff Antonella unsigned and possibly retiring, the Timbers will turn to a healthy Alias Ivasic in goal along with the acquisition of veteran netminder David Bingham. We are in a little bit of a rebuild. Um, Ivasic has been with us. I think now he has an opportunity to be able to uh, be a little more constant and we'll see what he's going to be able to give us. He's getting a little more confidence. Bingham was the whole year with us here. Hunter is an academy player again that now uh, had his first year last year and we most likely will sign one more goalkeeper. After two more days of work in Beaverton, the Timbers will pack up for Tucson and continue camp in the Arizona desert. That first preseason match arrives next Wednesday. It'll be a bit milder temperature. The 2022 MLS regular season kicks off right here on Fox 12. February 26th, home with New England. In studio, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.